Hello, spooky friends. It's me. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Rabbit. I use they, them pronouns, and it's my favorite spooky season, which is October and September and fall in general and Halloween specifically because, I don't know, it's just my favorite time of year. Year, the leaves are turning, things are spooky, and finally, mainstream stores cater to my specific tastes of like, bats and black cats and witches on things um and i wanted to show you what i have purchased for my halloween haul this year because it's my first time ever decorating my own place with my boyfriend granted but like our own place for any holiday but halloween's the only one i care about so it's like i just it's my first time doing this thing and I just wanted to like share it with you guys because I got a bunch of really cool stuff and I'm so excited about it and I'm gonna show you all when I'm done decorating like how everything looks in its place but I'm just like so stoked and it's a good time so enough chatting and gabbing and let's start with my favorite piece maybe one of my favorite pieces that I got it's this gorgeous sign. It's, um, you know, like a, you put it on the floor or whatever, a sandwich board kind of, and it's like hocus pocus. It's got a black cat and a vintage looking pumpkin and it's spooky and my boyfriend and I both love it. And we're both just so happy that we found it at Michael's. Everything's 40% off uh, right now in their Halloween section because Christmas is coming and they're getting ready for that, which like bums me out, but also, it makes me happy because I get things for 40% off, like this pillow. It says Halloween greetings, that's all. And it's got these gorgeous black cats and these witches riding on a moon. It's like, it says trick or treat. It's embroidered. I love it. I'm so happy we got it. Um, it was from Michaels. It's just like super cool. It's a, it's a year round decor for me, like all of this stuff. I don't care that it says Halloween. Halloween's my favorite time of year and I want it to feel like it every day. So welcome to the party <laughs> here is another thing i got at michael's 40 percent off it says halloween it's a banner it's got the same print on each letter thing but they alternate black and orange and the black ones have like a diamond pattern in the background and these bats and the orange ones have like a moon or a sun and bats and a witch and a cat and I just think they're super spooky and vintage looking and my boyfriend and I love that style. So I hang it like um, where I see it every morning um, from my bed and I just love it. It makes me feel so happy. Another thing from Michael's is this door, over the door hanger, put it on the door handle thing that says welcome to our haunted house. Um, I'm so stoked on it. It has this gorgeous black cat on it and this like really cute little detailed ribbon. Um, this says boo and has moons and a star and just like a really cool spooky black cat. So I guess Michaels had like a hocus pocus line this year or something because they had a lot of hocus pocus themed things and one of the things that I got that is super exciting that is a piece of year round decor Michaels is this it's just a bunch of hocus pocus floor mat. Is there um I think it was like 12 bucks or something. It, like it was crazy uh, marked down and I love it. And I think it's so cute. And it just like lives outside my, my boyfriend's apartment's front door. Another piece that I got to hang up on the wall is this really cute um, Dollar Tree banner. It's got this pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern and a cat with a witch hat and a ghost and a moon. And it's just super cute. Ooh, it's raining. Can you hear it raining? nice um yeah i just love it. it it hangs like in the entryway so i see it and i just feel spooky when i leave the house and when i come into the house and it just makes me happy these are from dollarama though um i work at a cat cafe and i asked my boss if i could decorate for halloween and she said yes so um this is like a pumpkin banner that says happy halloween and it's metallic and it's super cute and this is just a paper banner and I'm gonna bring those into work with like some little pumpkins and a little spooky friend I'm gonna show you soon and um, it's gonna be exciting. This is um, from Dollar Tree and it's basically, okay, I think it's a, supposed to be like you put a curtain in here and then hang it up 
and it's like a spiderweb bat design that I think is super cool. Um, but I just hung it like over kind of a shelf. So it hangs down over my boyfriend and I's booth. So got this. I like it a lot. It can also be like a cool shawl and like have like a cool bat on the back. So I love these, these Halloween sheets that the dollar store has. Like um, another one of them is the creepy cloths. I get these every year either to wear or to hang up over windows or cabinets or whatever, um, or shelves in the past, but I'm doing it over cabinets this year. And it's just like this really um, large, large, wide woven thread that you can manipulate to make the holes like bigger and smaller. And I just think it's like super spooky and cool. So I got this gray one from Dollar Tree and this black one from Dollarama. They also sell them at Michael's and like that kind of place, but they're so marked up. So I just get them dollar store and they're like the same quality. So, or I'm assuming they are from what I've felt. I haven't purchased any though. So, you know, another thing that I got from the dollar Dollarama when I went um, Halloween hunting by myself, because I went once by myself and once with my boyfriend, um, I got these paper lanterns. These ones are like kind of a lilac light purple with black bats on them and they do light up but you can't see it in this light. So I'll show you a picture side by side of them like hung up. I hang them up on my hula hoops or on my hula hoop and they glow at night and it's cool. This one is like a darker purple and it has a moon and a bat. I like the lighter purple ones a lot better, but it was cool to have a little bit of variation. I thought I got these little bat lights. They're LEDs. They're super cool. Um, yeah, they're from Dollarama and they're little bats. And I'll show you them when they're lit up. Another piece of home decor. Little tiny pumpkins. Just from my local grocery store. Um, it was about $2 for all these three. And I'm gonna pick some more to bring to work. But I just think tiny pumpkins are cute. Cause they are, it's a fact, I'm sorry. Next category I'll show you. Cause that was homewards. I don't know if I mentioned. Here's the thing. I already filmed this video but it didn't record any of the audio, so I'm refilming it. <laughs> so I hope it's, yeah, I hope it works this time. That's what I'm saying. Fingers crossed. I hope I don't gypsy it. Okay, my boyfriend got this little jack-o'-lantern tin from the dollar store. I think it's cute. Um, I think he's gonna use it to hold his paintbrushes or something, but very cool. This, this is the freaking, one of the coolest things I've seen. I love it. It's a little ceramic jar. It has a black cat on it wearing a clown hat and it has like a little clown ruffly collar. And I love black cats and I love vintage stuff and I love this like black and white pattern or vintage looking stuff, I guess you'd say. I just, and I love clowns and I just think this guy is so cute and I'm like so happy I found him. And he was at Michael's and it was 40% off. So it was just like a dream come true because it kind of matches all the black cat decor that I got there. So very cool. And then here, got like a matching tin because my boyfriend really like this one as well um, that kind of matches the um, cat clown tin. From Michael's we got these awesome tins. The lids are somewhere over there but this one is genuine bone powder, premium bat wing, and my favorite authentic black cats hiss. They're all from the Hocus Pocus pharmacy bottled in Old Salem so I just love these. They'd be really easy to DIY but I just really like the art that's on them. It's really cute and vintage and I just think it looks great. I love it. Oh, this is cool. This is like a little coffin box that I got at Dollar Tree and um, I have a lot of coffin boxes because I like them. I think they work and are good and I always get them at Halloween. But this one is extra cute because it has a bat on the outside and a little Dracula sleeping on the inside. So right now this is for my hair clips and I think it's awesome. Then I got this cute little um, black cat box from Michaels. Um, yeah, real quick, little storage container. It says Happy Haunting, just like plastic. It was from the Dollar Tree. It was about a dollar. So very cool. I think it's gonna hold like little electronic things probably. Um, the next category is like spooky friends that I got myself for Halloween. Just, okay, this is what I mean. <laughs> Look, look at this friend. 
Um, it's like a black plastic oil slick or like holographic um, rat skeleton. I love rats, so Halloween is a very good time for finding rat stuff. And this guy's just so freaking cute with his little like head cocked to the side and his little jaw moving and his little arm leg -like moving and his jaw coming off and being put back on. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Batman. There we go. He's awesome. I love it. Um, currently, he's one of the few little skeletons that I have. I also have like a mermaid one, but he's freaking cool and I like him a lot. So, rat friend, if you have names, comment them below. Name ideas for rat friend. Then I got Spooky. He's a little black cat wearing a witch hat and like a Halloween garland, maybe? He was in the Michael's um, like spooky garden section or whatever and he lives on my cactus plant and I love him and he's called Spooky. I, like I named him that and I just think he's awesome because black cats are so cool. Um, I have so many black cats at the cafe right now. They're freaking awesome and just like making my life because it's Halloween season and the leaves are changing and there's black cats that I get to see at work and it's just like, oh, the light of my life. So one of the things that I'm bringing to work that I got yesterday when I went to the thrift store with my boyfriend is this amazing piece. <laughs> it's a TY orange cat with a black and orange jack-o'-lantern ribbon around his neck. His name is Scaredy. He's from 2001, or she, they, who knows. So I love Scaredy. I think they're so cute. And I'm gonna bring him to work to sit like with behind the tail with me and and others because he's so cute and it's cat cafe so it would make sense so he's one of the spooky friends I got at the thrift store and I was just like felt blessed when I found him uh this <laughs> I love this little guy um he's technically a candle holder but he's in the spooky friend category because look how spooky and goofy this little friend is um it's a black cat with a witch hat maybe or like a little bowler hat, I don't know. But he's smiling and I just thought he was so goofy and fun looking that I like was like, yes, for a dollar fifty, I will get you, you are wonderful. So, cool spooky friend. And this, this is another awesome piece from Michaels this year. I didn't know Michaels had such good freaking Halloween stuff. Like Jade the Libra, um, one of my favorite YouTubers, woke me up to it because she did these Halloween hauls, which is what inspired this, but um, like whoa they had such cute stuff and one of the motifs that they had is this like black cat and it's so cute and this is like a little um container this has treats on it and it's white and the cat and i don't know what's gonna live in it but i love it it's like such a cute piece of all year round decor for me and i'm just like so happy about this little friend there's this really cute little cat uh, next to a gravestone i think this says welcome my pretties or like a door and there's a giant witch hat and a pair of witch shoes and it's so cute i love it i think it's gonna go really well with my other little cat um it was just one of those um kind of mini halloween decorations like this is my hand in comparison so it was super cute and um 40 percent off love it super stoked okay then from winners i got this in the halloween clearance section it's a music box with a little spooky black cat in it on a jack-o-lantern with a moon um And that's the song it plays, and those are the books. Next, um, let's talk about kitchen stuff, because another thing that I haven't gotten to do before is like buy things for a spooky kitchen, because I was like living with my mom or living in my dorm where there wasn't really a kitchen, so I didn't like feel the, the, the ability to really get into the spooky kitchen stuff so now i finally did and i'm so happy because one of the things on my wish list was um like spooky hand towels and i found these my boyfriend found these at michael's he picked them out um they're white with ghosts bats witches a moon a crow eyeballs in the spooky haunted house like everything you want and then it's like a two-pack so it has moons and bats and witches and ghosts on the other side and they're just like such cute towels the front one has like an orange trim, so it's just super cool. Um, I'm vegan <laughs> and I love baking. Um, so one of the things that I got 
was a reusable baking sheet. And I got this at Dollar Tree and my boyfriend found it and it was so cool. It's like a spooky haunted house with bats and trees, like spooky trees and a graveyard and a skeleton and a jack-o'-lantern. And you can basically bake your cookies and things on it and then just watch it and reuse it so you don't use parchment paper. And we love that, like eco moment. Yes, thank you. Um, I got this awesome, awesome scat spatula from Michael's. My boyfriend saw it and picked it out and it's so cute. It has a black cat on it with some like kind of cool flowers and just love it. Then I got another spooky towel. This one has a cat and a moon and like orange trim and just like a black and white plaid one, but I really just got it for this one. Um, it matches the spatula and I just love it. I think it'll look so good in the spooky kitchen. So cute for year round, spooky, spooky kitchen. Okay, next. We got some awesome cupcake um, papers, cupcake holders, baking cups. Thank you, Dollarama. Um, they're $1.25 each. This one has black and orange geometric bats. This one's got um, jack-o'-lanterns and trick-or-treat. And this one is bats with eyeballs on the side of it. Either way, they're super cute and I'm excited to do some Halloween baking with them. And I'm also excited to do Halloween baking with these. Um, I got these at the dollar store. It's a bat cookie cutter, a pumpkin, and a ghost cookie cutter. Amazing. Can't wait to make spooky cookies with these. I used to make gingerbread bats at Christmas when I was growing up, so maybe I'll make some like chocolate bats for Halloween. Okay. My boyfriend got these. I just thought I'd include them because they're kind of cute. Um, they're just little zipper ziplocs that have jack-o'-lanterns and candy corns. Cute. Why not? <laughs> for the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, then I got this mug that says Witch's Brew. It's, um, I'm gonna probably keep it at work. Um, it's got like that, it's ceramic, I really like it. And then this mug set, cause I wanted spooky mugs and these ones were $14 for the set. It says trick or treat with a jack lantern, boo with a ghost, spooky with a bat and happy Halloween with a witch hat. So I'm super stoked on those. Then for crafty stuff, I got this like skeleton um, ribbon that I'm gonna make into like a doll dress or like a hair ribbon. And these super cute little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern bells that I think would make a really cute sweater accessory or like a necklace of some sort. Other crafty stuff that I got is these stickers. My boyfriend actually bought these um, from our local dollar store. And the ones that I really like have the witches and the the, that hat with the skull and crossbones is really cool and the cat on the pumpkin is really cool so awesome and then we have a ghost which is a white cat sticker from cat beans this is for my work an orange pumpkin ghost sticker from my work and a black and white tuxedo cat sticker from my work this one's my favorite I just think they're all so cute but I'm really happy that we got these in then for my cats I got some toys this one's a little ghost with um, some ribbon on the bottom, just like a little wand toy. This one has some pom-poms and a little spooky mouse. And I just think they're so cute. I can't believe they made Halloween themed cat toys, but I'm like so excited and they're so cool. Then, um, because Netflix was a dick and decided to take all my favorite Halloween movies off of Netflix, off of their platform, no more Beetlejuice, no more Corpse Bride, no more Nightmare Before Christmas, no more freaking Hocus Pocus, no more The Craft, no more of that. So I went looking in the Value Village um, for different um, movies that I could watch um, during Halloween. So I picked up The Craft. I was super happy I found this. Edward Scissorhands, and one that I haven't seen, but I always hear people talking about it and referencing it, so I was like, what is the fuss? We need to find out. I got Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, because I don't know, I've never seen it. Maybe it'll be good. So that's very exciting.
So, um, I got a bunch of tote bags because I was just reusing the same plastic bags for like all my groceries. So I got some tote bags that are Halloween themed. My favorite one is this one that's purple with like a skeleton playing fetch with its dogs in its own hand. I think that's so cute or its own arm bow. Really big bag, so I like that. I got this black one that's canvas with like a green moon witch riding a broom silhouette and a spooky tree and some bats, of course. I actually got two of those. So that's the other one. These were from, these are all from the dollar store, Dollarama or Dollar Tree. This is another one of those canvas ones. It says, Happy Halloween. It has this really cute jack-o'-lantern. So I like that. And then we've got a black cat bag. that's purple with a black cat on it with big green eyes. And this little bag that's like really good for like heavier things like almond milk and whatever. It says, Happy Halloween. And I think it's super cute. It's got pumpkins, skeletons, ghosts, bats, cats, everything. Everything we love. Okay, so take four, we're back. My camera cut out again, so let's do it. In this cauldron, Dollarama, it was $3 and I love it. In it, I have put socks. The first of which, um, I got these black cat socks that have white background and black cats on them. They're very spooky, very Emily the Strange, so I'm very excited about those. Then I got these green and orange and purple socks with bats and a moon, and I think they're awesome. These ones have a moon with some bats and ghosts and these jack-o'-lanterns, so that's super fun. We've got black and purple stripy socks with a bow on them from Claire's. We've got a black cat on a jack-o'-lantern stripy socks. Um, orange and black stripy socks with a black cat on them from the dollar store, Dollarama, all these from the dollar store, Dollarama, unless otherwise stated. Uh, these are gray socks with a black silhouette of a witch wearing stripy socks on them, so that's awesome. We've got these ones with ghosts moaning and groaning. They're cute and spooky. Then we've got these lime green ones with a haunted house and a black cat silhouette. Very cool. And these lime green and black ones with a graveyard silhouette. I really like these. And then these black and white Harlequin um, diamond print socks. Um, then I got some accessories, some little jewelries and stuff. So first I got this from Claire's, this really cute little jewelry set. Um, it was $16.50, but I got it at the buy three, get three free. Um, so I really like this. It's got jack-o'-lantern, spider webs, witch hat, a little boo, um, ghosts and bats. Then I have these skeleton hand earrings. I have these in a couple of different colors, but I didn't see them in white before, especially with the black paint in them, so they're super fun. I like to like hold my face with them when I would study and stuff, it was super, whatever. Uh, those are from Halloween Alley. Then again from Claire's, I got these awesome little pitchfork earrings, just like red metal pitchforks and these little bats on dangly silver chain. They're black bats, but they have a purple glitter in them. So they just are like a little shimmery and it's so pretty and gothic and I just really like that. So then other little accessory things. I've got these little hair clips that are devil horns that I think would go super cute with the earrings. I got these from Halloween Alley. This blood drip bracelet that I might turn into a necklace. This black lace choker, it's got like skulls on it and it's matching bracelet. Then we've got this scrunchie set that I got from Claire's. I love this one. It's orange with black cats and jack-o'-lanterns and white ghosts and little yellow stars. And then this one's black velvet with like little bat wings or something. And then I got this black lipstick from the dollar store that has a silver skull on it. And it's, it's cool, it's good for what it is. Um, then I got these two pairs of nails. Uh, this one has like a flame pattern and sparkly and black and red. Very cool for like my devil costume. And this pair I got last year and I love them and they're falling apart so I got another set. They're black and sparkly with these um, like skeleton hands. High tune. <laughs> then I got this choker set from Claire's that are just the like kind of tattoo choker with a pumpkin and a black cat. So we got those. 
Uh, then I got a headband set that matches the scrunchie I showed you guys earlier. It was still for the like three for uh, buy three get three sale. And then this um, set of hair clips. This one is orange with bats. And we have a ghost, a sparkly one with bat wings that's black, and this one that's polka dot and says boo. Sparkles. And lastly, but not leastly at all, because it's my favorite part. Um, Halloween is my favorite time to get like cool fashion-y things that don't come out around the rest of the time of the year. So first I'll show you this poncho that has bat, bat like edges and it's a spiderweb pattern. So it's just like a big sheer spiderweb poncho with bats. And I think it's so cool. I'm so excited to wear it with like my like velvety pink dress. It's gonna be so cool. Um, then I got this amazing dress. It's this one, the coven hooded dress from Spirit Halloween. Um, so I got this for as a year round piece for me because I saw Jade the Libra, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, um, posted a video that was a Spirit Halloween costume try on and she showed this dress and I was like, oh my God, I love it. Um, and it's black velvet and it's hooded and it has stars and moons and it has lace and flared sleeves and I normally would never spend $50 on a dress but for a Halloween spooky witch dress with a lace up top, hello, hello, I am here. I love it, I think it's so cute. I'm so happy I bought it. And the best part, that I have saved the very best for last, my favorite, I mean, it's hard to choose because everything has kind of been my favorite thing in this haul because everything's so cool, but okay. I have always wanted to, but never felt the courage or, you know, the self-confidence to wear a witch hat. But it's finally the year 2020 when everything's going to shit and nothing matters anymore. Not that it ever really has, but I got a witch hat and it's from Spirit Halloween and it's crooked and it has a bow and it has lace and it matches the print of my dress. And it's the deluxe witch hat. Um, I'm gonna wear it in my everyday I'm never taking it off. I love this hat so much. I think it's so cute. I feel like finally I can be in my final form, like being the Halloween witch of my dreams all year round in my beautiful velvet hat that matches Jade the Libra's like what? Oh, anyway, um, I'll show you guys a real quick vid of how I decorated. All right, so here we are at the entrance. You can see my Hocus Pocus mat and the haunted house sign hanging on the door. Usually I hang it inside, but I thought I'd put it out for this video. Um, so we're just inside now, and you can see my witch hat hanging up um, on a hook on the door and all those reusable shopping bags. Panning over to the side, we have that um, little like paper garland thing from the dollar store with all the cute Halloween characters and like I said every time I walk in and out of my house it just reminds me that it's spooky season so it's super cute. Um, little mummy guy hanging next to him and the little cat decor boxes they're just holding stuff like hand sanitizer and headphones and flashlights stuff like that. This is my kitchen. I put out the little hand towels for this filming and for the holiday and uh, there you can see my um, kind of metal jar that says black cat's hiss and I've used it to hold spatulas and kind of cooking utensils that I use while cooking. Um, on the other side of the counter, got my humidifier going and on the mirror I've stuck um, tape on the back of the stickers, um, temporarily placed those on the mirror. By my humidifier I've put some little um, tiny pumpkins because they're so cute and lovely. And I've got my awesome um, tins just hanging out. And next to the tins, I have those spooky mugs. I decided to take them out of their metal container because it just kind of scratched them on their way in and out. So they just sit out and they're super convenient to grab when my boyfriend and I make coffee in the morning. We can always have like a spooky mug or like a cute little black cat and pumpkins on it. And it's just my favorite. I've put my Halloween sign down um, in front of Tuna's box that she likes to lay in. So she has just like a little bit of privacy. So this is the main room. You can see my cats are napping. Uh, Tuna's in her cocoon. My boyfriend and I got this for her recently and she loves it. Um, yeah, she's an angel. And there's Lemon and there's the couch. So as you can see, I've put a fuzzy white blanket on it with that black bat kind of drape over thing that's supposed to go in a curtain. And um, I put my Halloween pillow out. I love this pillow so much. Just panning up, I have some 
posters that my boyfriend put up recently. They're some of his favorite artists. Um, he got a bunch of their prints in the mail. Oh, this is the creepy cloth I draped over the cabinet. Uh, the posters stay up year round, and so does that um, big blanket with the skeleton on it. But I thought I'd include them in the video because they're kind of spooky and feel Halloweeny. Um, on the other side of the wall, the one I'm filming now, this is all my posters and stuff. Um, so it's a lot more like pastel. Uh, my guide to ghost hunting, I think, is especially appropriate for this for this video. But anyway, um, right here is my and my boyfriend's troll collection. It's not all of our trolls, but it's like a good chunk of them. Bottom shelf where you can see I've put all the Halloween trolls. Um, I think they're so cute and fun and I really like them. So you can see we got some rockers and genies, little fairy, little black cats and an alien, a Frankenstein, a pirate, a pilot, a skeleton, <laughs> just cute stuff. I love it. On top of our craft cabinet, I have put um, the little um, snow globe and Scaredy is kind of living there for now. So on this shelf, I put a bunch of the Christmas lights up, or not Christmas, Halloween lights up with the bats on them. And I'll show you a little clip of them lit up because it looks really good at night. Um, you can also see the lanterns that I hung up on my hula hoop. Um, I'll show how those look lit up at night. But here's just a little pan over of my and my boyfriend's kind of little desk area. And we got a creepy cloth on the window and this um, stuffed bat. So it's a taxidermy bat that my boyfriend's sister made for him. So that's pretty cool. So here are just a bunch more cool prints that belong to my boyfriend. He just really into art and stuff. <laughs> so here's the bat that's taxidermy and he's just living above all these different skulls that my boyfriend has um, collected to paint and stuff. So that's very exciting. Um, cool art prints. These stay up year round as well, but they're spooky. So I thought they could be included in this video. Um, here I have a tiny pumpkin and this really cute little card with a cat um, holding a pumpkin. And next to the cat print, um, we have this little stuffed stuffed skeleton guy um, that originally used to really creep me out, but he's kind of grown on me and he lives out here for Halloween. And this painted skull, this is like an example that uh, my boyfriend's done. And we've got these little bugs in um, kind of resin or whatever and little crystals hanging out. So I thought those were spooky, cool for Halloween, even though they stay year round. Um, so here on this shelf, we've got my Cast of Fierce Monster High doll. I thought she would be really great to bring out at Halloween because she's a witch. This shelf has a lot of cat stuff on it, like that little um, cat candle holder. Of course, those little um, ceramic jars that I got from Michael, so I really like those. And here we have the jack-o'-lantern that's holding my boyfriend's pens, as well as my makeup mirror that I put my um, Halloween headbands around. And in this cabinet, we have some painted or inked uh, jaw bones that my boyfriend did. They're super beautiful. Um, yeah. I'll link his Instagram below so you guys can check out more of his work because I know I've gotten questions about that before. This blanket I think I already mentioned but I love it and I think it's very appropriate for Halloween. As you can see my cats are very sleepy so let's leave them be and head on upstairs to show you guys above my loft or above the loft. I don't know. So climbing up the ladder you can see my, my boyfriend's bed with this pastel um, blanket that I made around it and this ladder that goes up to the roof. As you can tell, it's snowing and that bumps me out so much. I got all my Monster High dolls on this top shelf here and um, our Halloween sign, like I mentioned, that um, I get to see every morning when I wake up and it just brings me joy, reminds me that it's my favorite holiday. Um, I've got my bat wings hanging up and my horns and this little spiderweb necklace, but those stay up year round. Lots of my posters aren't Halloween specific, but I feel like they really make sense in this video, so that's why they're included. This is a jewelry rack that I've made myself, and you can see that I've put all my new Halloween jewelry on it and kind of organized it into this section where like Halloween stuff is together and moon stuff is together and some of my favorite posters that I get to see every morning when I wake up. This happy haunting um, bucket did indeed end up holding all of our electronics and kind of little stuff and that's pretty fun. These are my stuffed animals. Um, the bat is very appropriate for Halloween but he stays out all the time. My angel wings also stay out all the time. Down at the bottom of my mirror I've got some custom monster high dolls that I made. And um, below my regular Monster High dolls, I have more um, custom dolls that I made. I'm still making them, um, just slowly but surely. I've prepped a bunch of heads, 
for the winter, so I'm very excited about it. But um, lots of them feel kind of spooky, so I thought they would be good to include in the Halloween decor video. I'm excited to make more like explicitly Halloween ones that I can use for decorations in the future though. So we'll see how that goes. So on the mirror, we've got a bunch more trolls that belong to me and my boyfriend, and the little hair bows that are spooky, and a little pumpkin. I have the um, cauldron holding a bunch of socks. I have some monster high furniture, like the Draculaura in her um, coffin, as well as my little rat friend on top, and Cupid, and Draculaura's bathtub. My necklace is hanging up, and just like some little coffin boxes. So that's fun. Got my jewelry in my coffin box. It's Draculaura's um, bed kind of thing. More posters, as always. I also hung up these witch hats that I got from the dollar store next to my Monster High dolls, and I think they look super good. And that's what it looks like. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you watched till the end, that's like wild, and thank you so much. Um, if you liked, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Um, feel free to subscribe to me if you want. Also, feel free to not. Um, I'm just really happy you're here, and I'm wishing you and all your loved ones a super safe, super happy, super healthy Halloween. So, spooky Halloween to all of you, and good night, or good day, or goodbye, but see you later, hopefully. <laughs>